Today I will be talking about an investment worth more than gold. How you doing everybody? Welcome to Empire Precious Metals. If you're new to the channel, I am a guy talking about precious metals and collectibles. So make sure you blast that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well and get the bell notification clicked. That way you get updated with any new content. Today I am talking about gold, but I'm also talking about an investment that can be worth more than gold. And I'm going to share that with you in just a few moments. But first, I kind of want to just put some of the gold out here because it's something that you guys like to watch. Um, anyhow, so as you've been seeing, the markets have been going up for gold and silver um pretty steadily over the last month or so um yeah you get some pullbacks from time to time but overall you do see that gold has its upward trajectory same with silver and uh, i've done some recent videos interviewing some experts who are able to talk about that subject a lot better than i am and if you're interested in those videos make sure you check them out i will post something up there if you're lucky. Sometimes I, I do this and I say I'm going to and then I forget. <laughs> but anyhow, um, I recently interviewed some of these uh, experts. And the one thing that I noticed that all of them had in common was that they did not really get into uh, cryptocurrency. They didn't discuss um, the importance of having any crypto in a portfolio. Um, I know that there's basically a couple different mindsets, uh, maybe even a few. You've got the people who are really like staunch supporters of, of precious metals. And then you've got the other individuals who are just straight up crypto. And then you do get the people that are kind of like a hybrid where they're kind of like in between the two. You know what I mean? Um, recently, I did say that I was buying crypto and I did. I didn't put a ton into it. I put only around $4,000 into it, but I happened to play it right where I was able to basically double my money and I was able to sell it off prior to Elon Musk's announcement uh, when he said that Tesla was no longer going to accept Bitcoin as a form of payment for Tesla. Um, so it was actually two days prior to that announcement that I actually sold everything off. And I, I did so because I saw that uh, crypto was starting to drop and Bitcoin I sold off right around the $55,000 mark. And I had some Ethereum, which is the second largest cryptocurrency being traded. And I sold that off as well, right around the $2,300 mark, if I'm not mistaken. It's been, it's been a while, but I was able to double my money. And uh, to be honest with you, I haven't looked back um right now we have bitcoin trading right around 30 oh i want to say like thirty-five thousand at the time of the recording of this video and ethereum right around 25 2600 bucks last time i checked but uh to be honest with you the volatility of cryptocurrency definitely does make me a little bit queasy if i'm going to be completely honest with you it's one of those things where you see fluctuations of ten thousand dollars in a given day and the thing that i did not like about the recent stuff too with crypto is that um basically you had just a tweet from one individual elon musk basically sending cryptocurrencies like in a tailspin and, you know, for any one person to be able to have that kind of, um, what do you want to call it, uh, strength in order to just, or, or influence to basically manipulate and change the price entirely of uh, cryptocurrencies, you know, and I know there's more to it. I know that you've got governments um, increasing the regulations. You had stuff coming out with China. Um, you had uh, the IRS putting out an announcement saying that um, $10,000 or more, you're going to have uh, tax implications. The other thing, too, in recent news, we saw the whole pipeline situation where uh, the United States was able to recover a couple million dollars of that paid ransom. And, uh, you know, the one thing that I'm kind of curious about, 
and maybe somebody who's smarter than I am uh, within this uh, investing world, especially with cryptocurrencies, the whole thing with crypto is it's supposed to be anonymous. So how was it that the uh, federal government was able to track it all down and, and get some of that money back? I don't know. But anyhow, so uh, to be honest with you, gold, I still buy it, as you can see here. Um, I believe in it. The thing about gold is that it is um, stable uh, in terms of, you know, comparing it to crypto. It's a lot more stable. Um, and, you know, I just, it's just so darn pretty, you know. But, you know, aside from silver and gold, you know, silver is a lot more volatile. And while I don't mind the volatility of silver, I really have moved out of stacking silver and primarily stacking gold. Um, it's not that I dislike silver. I don't think that silver is a bad metal. Um, those of you that are familiar with my channel know that I am constantly buying and selling silver and it's a way that I've been able to buy uh, all of this gold. I'm a teacher, so it's not like I'm making crazy amounts of money. It's just that I've been able to, uh, you know, to build a small business with the buying and selling of silver and gold. I am a dealer on the side. I do have a registered small business and this is something that I do. I pay taxes quarterly. Um, but if it weren't for silver, I wouldn't be able to stack as much gold as I have today. And I continue to buy gold. But there is something that I have been getting into recently, which in my opinion, uh, I'm very excited about. And some people will not view it as an investment. And, you know, if you look up the definition of investment, it's basically um, where you're putting your money to grow it um, and you're speculating to grow your money and make a profit. That's what an investment is. Um, so when people are saying, you know, silver is not an investment, gold is not an investment, um, you know, if you look at the definition of investment, uh, technically, yes, it, it is. Um, I don't know why people argue it. It is an investment. Um, I do also view it as a form of a savings account. But when you look at the definition of investment, silver and gold is and can be an investment. Now, brings me to what the purpose of this video today is. And I'm very, very excited for this. And I'm going to grab this box here. Pretty big box. And I am going to grab my trusty knife. All right. And I'm going to open this up. Now, what's in this box is more valuable than gold. In fact, I'm going to open this off onto the side here because of the glue on here. And I'm going to most likely slice myself because I'm doing this right next to the tripod. I had to sign for this item. Um, and I've been waiting for this item for quite a while. Some of my friends who are within the second community know that this is something that I've been looking forward to for quite some time. All right, so let's see what we got here. I'm actually uh, kind of anxious to be quite honest with you. So it's no surprise that um, COVID has uh, basically turned things around for people in in many different ways, whether it be their job, um, whether it be um, you know where they're living, their stacking uh, habits, and also hobbies. We've seen a tremendous boom in all things precious metals and collectibles. Um, specifically, we saw a crazy, crazy, um, crazy boom with Pokemon. Now, that's something I've never been into. Um, stuff that I have been into when I was a kid was comic books. Also, um, sports cards, which I did sell, regrettably. Um, I did have quite the uh, comic collection, which I did sell, regrettably, and now I've been getting back into it. Now, um, those of you that are familiar with the auctions, I have been selling the coins, but I've also been selling some high-end comics. And uh, this is something that, you know, I wanted, and I can't believe it's here. And this is really, really exciting. 
This is Amazing Spider-Man 129. It's the first appearance of the Punisher. And I am so excited. This is 9.0. Off-white to white pages. First appearance of the Punisher. And those of you that are familiar with the Punisher, really cool character. Uh, he is a uh, basically a vigilante who takes justice in his own hands, gets into a whole bunch of fights, and uh, there is a um, series on Netflix, and it's said that he's going to probably make it into the MCU. Um, so this being a 9.0, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the value of this, why I bought it, and what I'm talking about here as this relates to gold. Um, Spider-Man 129, first appearance of the Punisher. This is a key issue. And when you say key issue, it basically means that it is a very, very um, important, uh, sought-after, high-end, highly collectible um, comic book. And for grading, you basically are going from 1.0, which is pretty much toilet paper and chewed up, all the way up to a 10, which is gem mint. 10.0 is almost unheard of. 9.9 is also unheard of. So really, usually, comics level out around 9.8. Now, this comic book in a 9.8 would be valued right around forty-five dollars to $50,000. This comic book, as it stands right now, today, is valued at around $5,500, uh, closer to $6,000. I was able to get this for $4,300, then with tax, right around $4,700, which, um, you know, when I say this is more valuable than gold, uh, when you compare this to what somebody is willing to pay for this book, myself being included, and many others, if you go look on eBay, you'll see. Compared to one ounce of gold, this is more valuable right now. Now, I'm not telling people to go out and start investing in comic books. And I'm not telling people to go out and invest in Magic the Gathering cards or Pokemon. You know, it's entirely up to you, obviously, what you want to do with your money. For me, this is something that I did for a couple of reasons. The first one is that my channel has always been geared towards um, precious metals, but also with a flavor of, you know, pop culture, um, and, you know, comics, Star Wars, stuff like that, right? It's kind of more along the lines of like the hobby collector side, if you will. Um, I do give information about stacking. Uh, that's my main bread and butter when it comes to this channel, but I do want to start, um, introducing some more stuff aside from just coins. Now, that doesn't mean that my channel is going to be changing. I'm still basically going to be doing 99% of the content as coins. Um, this is what my niche is, and that's what I'm going to stay with. But on my auctions and my Instagram and every once in a while on a YouTube video, you will see the different items there. It's a way that I feel as a stacker, I can bridge the gap between different collectors. Um, all of us as stackers are collectors. I did a poll not too long ago where um, people just put so much stuff in, in this poll as to what they collect. People said they collect antiques. Some people said that they collect comics, sports cards, Pokemon, uh, spoons, stamps. I mean, the list went on and on and on and on. And there is a market for this stuff. It has a resurgence because of COVID. But to be honest with you, uh, with COVID starting to kind of uh, taper off, I don't see the people that have been reinvigorated with their old passions, myself included, I don't see that hobby dying down anytime soon. And people that have been reintrod or newly introduced to new hobbies, whether it be uh, grown men getting into Pokemon cards or people getting into sports cards for the first time, they're not going to give up those hobbies because it's something that they've found enjoyment out of. They found a lot of fun in um, in those hobbies during the time of COVID. And I think that this is going to stay. Um, so going back to this comic book now, these are things that uh, this issue particu in particular being a key issue is going to continually appreciate in value. Um, this is something I do not plan on parting with. However, obviously, given the right price, it's something that I would sell. 
Um, one thing I've also uh, been better at is not getting too attached to my uh, collection. Um, so this comic, really, really uh, excited for. Um, and the other reason I bought this too is it is a strategic move. I've started to gain more followers on Instagram who are into comics and they're seeing the coin stuff and they're asking me questions about silver and gold. And it's a way for me to pull people from other niches or niches, whatever you want to call it, into the stacking world. And it's a way for me to introduce my channel into the collector world. So uh, I'm very excited for this issue. Um, I've hit a new threshold now, this being nearly $5,000. Um, so there are other comics that are on my bucket list that I am going to be trying to get, but I'm very excited for this issue. I'm curious for all of you, what is it that you are into collecting? Have you gotten into, uh, old hobbies that you've, um, kind of forgotten about? And, uh, ever since COVID, you kind of got reinvigorated um, I'm just curious about that sort of thing. Comment down below. Let everybody know what you're into. And uh, let me know how horribly stupid of an idea this was. I know many of you are saying, what an idiot. And others are saying, that is awesome. But comment below. Let us know your thoughts. I appreciate the time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to blast that like button. Remember to hit that bell icon. And I would like to quickly thank these elite channel supporters. And if you haven't already become a channel member, please check out the awesome perks and join today. With that, this is Empire Precious Metals. Until next time, long live the Empire.